Good morning, Ravens, and welcome to this week's Monday edition of ONW Now. Today, we have stories on changes in the lunch line, Game Day Northwest, Five Things with Connor, and the weather. Let's get started. You may have noticed some major changes in the lunch line. Sean McPartland went and took the story on lunch. Have you ever been in a long line waiting for lunch and end up having a shortened lunch time? The cafeteria crew has now implemented the combo and combo plus lines in the cafeteria. Well, first of all, we do not have an a la carte side. We have a combo side, which would have been main line, and combo plus, which used to be a la carte side. Everything that is available on the combo side is also on the combo plus side, including items from the salad bar which have been moved over to the side which used to be a la carte. It should shorten the line so that people that goes to the combo can also go to combo plus and not wait so long and have a short lunch. Students can still go to any register to check out unless you have no card. Students can also get the pizza meal without a card as long as it has the proper sides with it. For ONW Now, I'm Sean McPartland. Now back to the desk. Yeah, hopefully he's kidding. I hey Ravens, welcome to this kidding. Monday's edition of Game Day Northwest. I'm your host, Brennan Wolford. Today we'll cover tennis, baseball, this week's question of the week, and a look at upcoming events. Let's get started. Five, four, three, two, one. Last Thursday, the boys' tennis team took on the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies. Parker Olson was there with the story. Last Thursday, the Olathe Northwest tennis team competed at home against the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies. In their doubles match, Thompson Tong and Cutter Sanders beat the Huskies in an evenly matched game, while all other Ravens doubles teams lost. During the individual matches, Tong, Sanders, Fitchett, Boshma, and Buell lost, with the only individual win coming from senior Taylor Fickey. The team's next match is a quad at Topeka West High School on Tuesday, but their next home meet is Wednesday at 3.30 at Seaback. Come out and support the Ravens. For Doug Pearson, this is Parker Alston. Now back to the desk. The boys' baseball team also played last Thursday, taking on Olathe East. Let's take it to Jackson Muehlman with the recap. The Olathe Northwest baseball team played Olathe East last Thursday. Austin Hansen pitched six innings, but the Ravens' defense struggled as there were many unearned runs given up. The bats came alive early in the first as the Ravens scored four runs. Unfortunately, the Ravens would go on to lose 6-5 to five on a controversy call that would have tied the game up. This has been Jackson Mealman. Now back to the desk. The girls softball team defeated Lawrence Free State last Thursday night. Hit a monster home run that landed in the Prairie Point neighborhood. You can see the ball if you look closely in the grass across the street. Finally, thanks to all of you who answered last week's question of the week. This week's question is, who is the best dunker in the NBA? Tweet your answers to hashtag OMWGameDay for a chance to get featured on this Friday's show. Now, let's take a look at this week's calendar. Today, there's an away golf meet at Milburn Golf Course, while tomorrow, baseball, softball, and tennis all are away. There's also a home soccer game. Thanks for tuning in, Ravens. This has been Brennan Wolford. Now, back to the desk. Now, let's take it over to Connor Bickford for five things you missed with Connor. I'm just here, so I won't get fired. Five things with Connor, I had to sing my own intro. Oh, we were going. Hey guys, what's going on? We're back. Yeah, it's cool. I'm cool, you're cool. 
Let's just do this. First thing we're going to talk about is obviously the national championship. What a game. I mean, Duke, Wisconsin. There was a controversial call, however, in the final two minutes of the game. Justice Winslow, the ball grazed off his finger. That call deserves some justice. Badoom. -tsh. So, second thing we're going to talk about is the Royals home opener. Pretty much, Royals destroyed the White Sox 10-1. So, that's all I really have to say. Third thing. I don't know why I did that. Third thing we're going to talk about is Furious 7, the final chapter to Fast and Furious. On Honestly, it's one of the best movies I've ever seen. It's really good. An interesting thing due to Paul Walker's death, the directors were able to finish the movie. They brought in his brothers and scoured past like video clips that they didn't use and some that they did use and pretty much used CGI to put Paul Walker into the film. And it turned out really good and it was a really good way to send him off for his final movie. So fourth thing we're gonna talk about, it's Money Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather. Oh wow, this guy. This guy. Okay. So pretty much his mouth guard. He puts $100 bills in it, and it costs $25,000 to make. I mean, it's ridiculous, the amount of money some of these people have. Which... So for the fifth and final thing we're going to talk about, it's actually Taco Bell. I know, right? Some of you are like, eh, some of you are like, oh my gosh, Taco Bell. So Taco Bell is going to start doing a delivery system for... Like their entire menu, breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, whatever you can think of. And so, yeah, and it's starting here in Olathe, so. <sighs> I'm looking up Taco Bell's number right now. It's ringing. Hi, yes, uh, do you guys deliver? Um, I'd like one of everything, please. Okay, thank you. Um, so, yeah. Awesome, see you later. Bye. Yeah, I figured it The sun's up. It's a little after 12. Make breakfast for myself. Leave the work for I'm someone like else. I'm acting like it's raining. I feel like looking up. Good morning, Ravens. The skies are cloudy this morning with a high of 70 and a low of 46. Tomorrow, there is a high of 66 and a low of 48 with more cloudy skies. On Wednesday, there's a 51% chance of rain around 8 a.m. and a high of 66 and a low of 52. On Thursday, there'll be a 40% chance of scattered thunderstorms all day with a high of 73 and a low of 54. So you might want to break out those umbrellas, Ravens. On Friday, we're looking at cloudy skies with a high of 70 and a low of 50. On Saturday, there is a 50% chance of scattered thunderstorms around 2 p.m. with a high of 72 and a low of 54. On Sunday, it's looking like some more rain with a high of 70 and a low of 50. So there you have it, Ravens. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next Monday for the forecast. Have a great week. That's all we have for you on today's Monday edition of ONW Now. Be sure to remember that we have no school Friday. Have a great day, Ravens, and we will see you on Wednesday.